So here I have the first of the two units wired up. The other one I'll still have to solder it. So there's a few wires going to the tree from the Wemos, and one of them does all the lights, the other one just does the tip light. So if this unit detects motion, this light at the top will flash, but the tree won't. So for locally detecting motion, it'll only let you know that motion was detected, but then the other unit will be flashing the whole tree, uh, and vice versa. So for testing, I have this little um, a witty Wi-Fi, which is also a very similar unit, except it has built-in buttons, and it's got some lights. So if I press the button on here, it simulates, it pretends that this thing just detected motion. So it should make that tree flash. And then the green light is like um, the tip of the tree. So that part's working. I'm not quite sure about the motion yet because somehow it's detected motion a few times, but I have no idea how or why. So some work left to do on that. Um, the other thing I've been doing is using, and you can't see that here, but I'm using the, uh, the online HiveMQ WebSocket client. And I can publish from there. And oh, I guess I sent it to one, but let's send it to a two. Publish, and that should make it flash. Yeah. So that's working. It's kind of cool how uh, it's interconnected and you can actually use like online browser to set these things off. So that's it for now. I need to solder up the second tree and I need to figure out what the deal is with the motion detection.